So you guys, um, it is the start of, I guess, what you would call some little house projects. So we have been doing, you know, some little stuff around the house. So I'm gonna be walking you guys through what those things are and also just kind of showing you guys what's going on right now. I'm not like the greatest blogger, so I'm always like, oh shoot, this might be something that people care about, grab the camera, so that's what's happening here. So um, earlier this week, I think, I ordered some matte black um, hand soap and dish soap dispensers. They came in this box that came today. All three of them were individually wrapped. I'm about to show you guys those now. Here they are, they're so cute. So let me get down here. They are all 16 ounces. I ordered these from shop, I'll put it on the screen. What the heck was the shop called? Urban something? Anyway, they came from Portland, Oregon, I think. I do know that. And I decided to get the hand soap one and the dish soap one so that I could put them downstairs. I did go with the matte black because there is gonna be one other element of matte black coming to the home in the kitchen and that is going to be um the pools and the knobs they're going to be matte black so i have purchased them from amazon and they're going to be here i tried to sh shop small so i've been trying to purchase things from etsy and stuff like that during this time but honestly the price of what the matte black ones and the style that i wanted that i found on etsy was honestly out of this world like way 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 more than what I was gonna be paying on Amazon. So unfortunately I did have to purchase those from, you know, it was a personal choice, but I did purchase those from Amazon. So they're gonna be like, um, the kind that kind of cuts off. I don't know what the style is, but it's not gonna have any excess. So it's just gonna be like a little bar. And then they, they are T, um, T knobs. So I do know that. So anyway, that's how I'm bringing all of the matte black in. And then honestly, we're gonna be pretty close to being finished with the kitchen once we change out all of the knobs when they get here. So again, I got the hand soap and the dish soap. That's gonna be from down uh, for down here. I'm gonna put them back there. And then I got a hand soap one for upstairs. And I think that's gonna go in the master because there might be elements of matte black in there as well. So anyway, what I'm doing now is um, just basically fill in the containers. They did, um, the owner, the shop owner does have these little dishes, these little trays, but honestly, the trays are homemade. They were $32. I just couldn't see myself spending a hundred and some dollars on <laughs> some bottles and some trays. So I decided to just stop at the bottles. So if you're wondering why I would even purchase these, first of all, they're glass. So they are a better quality. And like I said, matte black, and I had been looking for hand soap and dish soap dispensers and I wanted them to match of course. There are a bunch of different designs that you can choose from and I was doing the math in my head and I was thinking like a really good sturdy soap dispenser from like TJ Maxx or whatever is $10 so why not purchase one that I really 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 like that's really 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 going to complement the area that they're going in and that is really 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 pretty so that's pretty much why and how I ended up with these and I'm gonna continue to fill them up now I'm just trying to get the last bit of my Dawn out of here so I can put that in the dish soap and now it's gonna get a little tricky because the only hand soap that I have is from Bath and Body Works and I have plenty of them because I got them on Candle Day however they are the foaming kind which that's going to present as a little bit of an issue I think whenever I put the soap in the hand soap dispenser but I already tried it out in this dispenser which is going to go back in the guest room um, now that I have guest bathroom now that I have this one to put in the master so I tried it out in here and I have the like the liquidy solution in here and it's like okay it's just a little weird because it's not foaming so anyway um, that's just a little update and I'm going to try to find trays on my own like some little trays because I do think that they look really cute in the trays and the trays that the shop owner has they're beautiful phenomenal I'm not knocking them at all I just can't pay $32 for a little porcelain tray so I'm going to try to find some on my own and maybe even try to find one that is or some 
especially one for this one maybe try to find one that's a, even a little bit bigger because the ones that she makes um these two bottles fit in the tray perfectly and i think i want to maybe do like a little bigger so i can have these fit in the tray and then something else going on for it. but let me um hit this other angle so like i was saying i'm just trying to fill up these bottles so i'm going to put the rest of this dawn soap in the dish soap dispenser and then throw this in the recycle bin but I think I can get a little bit more out of that and that might be like one little wash if I add a little water you know <laughs> you know how that goes so I think I'm gonna try that and then I'll dispose of it so that's this one and then oh that's cute that's gonna look really good I'm gonna remove this I was gonna put and you can't really see it because <laughs> all this stuff's in the way. It was already getting gross. I was having um, the disp dispensers, like the, the regular soap one and the dish soap one and the regular hand soap one sit in this vanity. But I don't really like that anymore. But I, this does match the aesthetic of the downstairs. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it. I'm just going to put it somewhere else. So, yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the hand soap in here. Again, it's going to be a little sketchy. But... It's fine. Like the soap still works. It just comes out in a liquid form and it doesn't foam up. So I'm just going to put champagne toast in here. And hopefully that's plenty. But I was thinking I might. Like I would even mix two different ones. So let me show y'all. Which I mean if you don't have. Like once I run out of this then I'll just be sure to not purchase like this one. This one is from Bath and Body Works, but it's not the foaming solution. So it was just fine. So I'll just know better <laughs> for in the next time that I go back. So instead of getting a champagne toast, which is one of my favorite scents, instead of getting a champagne toast foaming hand soap, I'll just get a regular hand soap. When you know better, you do better. It still foams up like a regular soap. It just comes out liquidy, which like I said, in the future, I won't have that problem. Because I'll just get the non-foaming soap. Because this is what was down here first. And it just was not... Actually, I'm going to leave that flipped over because it's going to the bottom. But this was what was down here first. And that just looks so much better, obviously. So anyway, um, I'm going to finish up here. And then I'll share with you guys some of the other little updates that we have for the house. Hashtag quarantine projects okay another little project that we have going on let me open up the lights the lights open up the blinds another little project that we have is I actually repotted my plant this is my peace lily it needs some water yes um, but this is my peace lily oh my gosh <laughs> I'm starting to get a little peace lily thing, you got a white thing? yeah oh my gosh come see come quick Come quick, come quick. Oh, it is. Oh, I've been taking care of my baby. Oh. My supervisor's gonna be so proud because she got me this as a housewarming. That's cool. Oh. Okay. I kind of like it without the little flower thing, but it's fine. <laughs> like, I really like it by itself. Anyway, there's my piece of lily. I repotted it. If that's how you say that, I purchased the planter and the stand together as a set from Big Lots for 30 bucks. And that's kind of like, it's giving me very transitional vibes, which is kind of like my aesthetic. Um, I'm not really huge on like, I honestly don't really care what the house turns out looking like. I'm not like a super, like I'm not super preoccupied with that, but I like what I like and I try to like stick to what I like and when you're sticking to what you like what you really 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 like instead of adding in random pieces that don't even that you don't even really like I find that for me myself and I I am able to kind of stick to the overall aesthetic and things kind of just match so basically I like grays blacks whites plants um and that's just kind of what I'm sticking to and things are just kind of coming together. I like mirrors, I like glass stuff, and that's just kind of what's going on. I do think that this is going to have to move. And that is my little blanket 
is really I think it's like a metal laundry basket is what it's really supposed to be but I am using it as a blanket holder but I think these items are gonna have to go unfortunately because um, I am in the market for a coffee table one that will go there and look nice and an end table and I think I'm I, I think I have found this set that I'm gonna purchase so that eventually is gonna have to go maybe to this corner or something like that but yeah that is a little update that we have going on down here I am in the market for a rug but actually in a couple of days my new pillow covers will be here so that's gonna add some brightness to this couch um, we do love the couch and the overall look of it but I'm not really big on sectionals so if I had my way I would have just bought a little sofa and some chairs like some very modern chairs but my husband really liked this sectional and he likes sectionals period and he liked this couch and this is one that we kind of agreed on and I don't really care that much I can pretty much make anything work like as long as it's not like terrible I can make it work so yeah um, pillow covers coming soon and that's gonna be a little update I do have some updates upstairs to show you guys but I do need to finish um, what do I have to do up here? Oh, I'm gonna repop my new plant. So I do have another plant and I forgot what you call it, <laughs> but I'm about to replot, repot it right now. And you know, just walk you guys through that whole little process. Cause I'm about to repot it literally right here on my countertops with, mm, I might go outside. <laughs> just kidding, because I don't know. No, I'll repot it here. So now it is replanted and of course I showed you guys my peace lily. There is my snake plant. She's still trying to work herself out and figure out what she's going to be when she grows up because she's struggling. And then of course I have my money tree. Oh my God, I have five plants. One, two, three, four. And I have four. And then I have just some flowers over here that are dying that I got like a week and change ago. So they're still hanging on. But yeah, um, I do have five living and breathing items inside of my house right now. I'm probably only realistically going to purchase like a couple more plants and then I'm gonna be done. But they're really cheap and they, I feel like bring a lot of life into the home. So anyway, um, let me share with you guys some other updates. Okay, so we're here in the bathroom and I guess, food's ready? <laughs> I was gonna say I may have to stop to go Eat. Okay y'all so I'm in the guest bathroom and I'm about to do a little work so basically I brought I have brought up um, just some random stuff and I'm definitely going to be changing the bulbs in here from this soft white type of you know brightness to daylight bulbs and I am loving this Cree brand I've tried many different ones from Home Depot and those are just the best also like the most expensive so I have a few vases and I have my plant up here that I just purchased which I don't think is going to live up here I am actually thinking it's going to live downstairs but I brought it up just to see if I did want to add some greenery in here and I'm already thinking that I do because I think it looks really good um I have a new trash can um these are some pieces well some pulls and some knobs from Home Depot which is where like most of the stuff has been coming from and I'm actually going to get rid of all of the oil rubbed knobs and pulls and replace them um and then that's pretty much going to be it of course I do not like the mirror I don't like any of the mirrors that came with the home but we couldn't change them you know in the design studio so I am thinking that I'm going to add maybe two. I'm getting rid of that for sure, but I don't think I'm gonna add one in here. I think I'm gonna add two smaller ones. So I don't know if I'm gonna do like circular or oval or what kind of shape, but I'm thinking that's gonna be a thing. So anyway, I'm gonna do a little work in here and then I'll share with you guys the updates that I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with changing the pulls and the knobs. This is the Liberty brand and I got these from Home Depot. So I got four of these and then four pulls because we have four, um, four knobs and four pulls in this particular bathroom. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and change these. Literally all you need is the pulls and the knobs or the pulls and the knobs and then a screwdriver or a drill if you're feeling frisky, but it don't really take all that. So I'm just going to um, just walk you guys through like how simple, simple this is. So literally inside of here, there are screws. All you have to do is unscrew them and then take your new pulls, which I already have some of them opened and just screw those onto the cabinet literally super super simple it'll probably take me like five minutes to do this so i'm going to go ahead and get started with that these are the little fixtures that came with the home so uh, we couldn't change these either it's like the oil rub situation oops um they just were serious about these for whatever reason so just want to show you guys what it's looking like let me see if i can zoom out Nope, I'm already zoomed out. The, the bathroom's just small. So there are the oil rubbed fixtures and then these are the acrylic and nickel. Yes, acrylic and nickel. It's probably not, oh, it is focusing. Interesting, even though it's so bright. Anyway, and here are the acrylic fixtures. So I love these so, 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 so much. Once the mirror's gone and those are changed out, which is not a top priority, but once that takes place at whatever rate, I mean, whatever time in life, then I think this bathroom is gonna look really, really good. Those will probably go too eventually, but honestly, whenever the daylight bulbs are in there, they don't look as oil rub, as oil rub, they look more black. So they might stay, but either way, um, I am obsessed with these acrylic pools and knobs. Let me walk you guys through what I have done. So like I said, I have changed out the bulbs so that they are daylight bulbs, which honestly just brings so much more life into this room or any room really, especially if the walls aren't white, which ours, the color of this paint is agreeable gray and it's pretty I would consider it to be like on the lighter side of things. It honestly looks more like beige or like a light tan as opposed to gray, but I'm okay with the wall colors. Not interested in painting, you know, the whole house or anything like that. I don't want like a all white house, but I do want it to be kind of bright and airy and lively. So it's not picking up great on camera, but I can promise you, which I don't hate this mirror in and of itself I just don't like it and I just don't like that they that so like after we walked through design and we picked all of our countertops and everything like that then they were just like oh well by the way here is the mirror color that you're going to get for every bathroom and you can't change it like if I wanted to keep that I would have matched some stuff better which is not terrible but I think it's just gonna look so much better whenever I bring in like black mirrors or something like that so anyway um, change the bulbs I already had that tray um, like previously the only real new thing to this room like as of right now <laughs> are is the plant and then of course the pulls and the knobs but um, over here to the left I have a candle and it's actually white honeysuckle which that was backwards because that's a little trick that you can do but I don't want it backwards <laughs> you know so I'm just gonna leave it like that that's a white honeysuckle which I think I'm gonna put that on a stand and elevate it I have my plant here I have the dispenser which is a marble dispenser which it's marble on marble if you can't tell so <laughs> I'm kind of debating that but it's fine and then I also have a little holder a little cup holder type thing where I have a spare toothbrush and toothpaste in there and then I also have a soap dispenser that goes with this and it's in the bathroom actually so here are the pulls and the knobs they look really really good once the flooring gets changed which I'm I don't hate like a a light eventually I don't hate like a lighter shade for the floor like a natural tone I don't know if we could get away with doing like a luxury vinyl or hardwood in here that might be a stretch but I wouldn't be mad at all at a lighter wood mm. shade of a floor wouldn't that look really good okay yeah <laughs> um, so I'm not mad at that if that were to happen I also have you noticed my changes no I also added our new trash can in here oh. I'm not talking to you in our trash bag. Oh, let me see if you close. Mm-hmm. 
And then that was already here, and these two were already here as well. So it's coming along. I mean, it's, I use this bathroom a lot. So anyway, I think it's gonna look really good once we bring in some more of those modern elements. Honestly, I don't really care for the one big mirror, but I'm not opposed to taking the mirror down and painting it black either, but I really do want two different mirrors. But anyway, as for all of the other fixtures, they're either gonna be like a chrome or something of the sort. But yeah, all the other fixtures, I haven't really worked out the kinks in my head <laughs> about like the doorknobs and all of the other oil rubbed fixtures. Like I really like the faucets for whatever reason, like I really do. And like I said, I, I'm not mad at the oil rubbed altogether. It's just, it just doesn't really go with the flow. I wish we would have known <laughs> that we wouldn't have had an option. We would have done things a little differently. I um, just wanted to share with you guys a bathroom update. I am going to continue to do some work in here and of course in all of the other rooms, especially during quarantine, but I am off to hang out with my husband, so I will share updates with you guys as we move along.